The View host Whoopi Goldberg blasted Roseanne Barr over a controversial Twitter tirade where the Roseanne star posted a tweet comparing former President Barack Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett to an ape. So here we go again, Whoopi complained directly at the beginning of the May 30th episode of ABC's The View. She addressed Barr's retweet of an old photo of Goldberg that was photoshopped by a fan, showing a disturbing image of President Donald Trump on her t-shirt. The View host explained to viewers that the photo posted by the Roseanne star was doctored. She then proceeded to show video footage of the actual shirt she had worn at the Women's March in New York on January 21, 2017. The message on the actual garment read, And you thought I was a nasty woman before? Buckle up buttercup. Some bonehead photoshopped a horrific image on the shirt Goldberg added. The photo in question was then retweeted by Roseanne. When shown on television this morning, however, the show pixelated the graphic image. So this is what I'm going to say, Roseanne. Just because you were caught with your pants down, don't try to drag other people down with you, Whoopi retorted. She then added, because there are times when you got to suck it up cause you stepped in do. Deadline reported how Goldberg would go on to call the post and the cry for attention to be akin to red meat. In the sense that, I didn't fake my shirt. Someone else faked my shirt. But that's your tweet, that tweet came from you, Whoopi said, making sure Roseanne is aware, you did this to yourself. Whoopi first addressed the t-shirt photoshop on the show in April, but the story behind it died down until Roseanne's untimely reposting of it after her show's cancellation. Barr tweeted a blanket apology to castmates and crew members associated with the show after its cancellation. However, she also took the time to attack a select few of those same castmates for their comments on her tweet that would effectively contribute to the show's cancellation. Barr would say she would cease blaming external sources for the offensive actions she was committing on Twitter and then subsequently went back and blamed the liberal media agenda for taking her and her show off the air over just that statement. She also blamed the drug Ambien for her poor choices. 